Welcome guys, thank you very much for watching this video. We are playing Mind Test on Survival X server and there was there was recently an update um, with a new farming plants and I want to show you how to get the seeds and how to farm them. So it is called Obsidian Ward. What you can do how to get the seeds is you have to find these uh, red mushrooms once you find forests with the uh, red mushrooms you can smash them all and you will get seeds you will get particular seeds from them okay obsidian ward seed so what you can do with these seeds is every time you're farming you can place it on your farming land but it will not grow it will not grow on your farming land on the regular soil so you can just throw it away and walk away no I'm just joking you keep the seeds and because it calls obsidian wart you have to place it on obsidian you have to go to the dungeons or to the underground find some lava, make some obsidian, uh, uh, dig it up, bring it uh, whenever you want. It has to be next to the water. So once you have your obsidian, you can place it next to the water. It, uh, it needs the water. It, it is using uh, the default mindless game farming API. So you always need water next to your farming anything you're farming so once you got the obsidian you need to also plow it with your hoe like this this is plowed obsidian once it gets wet like this one is already wet your plant starts growing you can place your seed on top of your plowed obsidian and your obsidian wart starts growing well it's not gonna grow so fast like you see now this is just for this video I made it faster so you don't have to wait it's gonna take longer in the game but this plant doesn't really need light to grow so it can grow in complete dark and it has just like six stage of stages of growing so it will grow much faster than any other plant so once you once your plant is fully grown on your plowed obsidian here, you get a nice wart, it's like nice mushrooms here. From that point, you can farm them. What you're gonna get out of those plants is obsidian wart. It looks like this. This is it. This is what you're gonna get. You cannot eat it, you cannot place it. But what you can do with it, you can place it to your furnace and you'll get ward brick. So you can get ward bricks. You can also put it into your crafting grid and you can craft ward block. Ward blocks look like this. and it's used just for the decoration and for your buildings uh, wire blocks also contains all the stairs and slabs so if you want stairs and slabs uh, you can craft it also another thing what you can do with the obsidian ward is use it together with your brick I think it's like this way and you can get ward red brick which looks like this also it includes all the slabs, all the stairs another thing what you can do once you have wall bricks you can use them in a craft, gri uh, craft grid like this and you'll get 
Vard's brick block. So this is the red one, and this is like the dark version. Also includes... All of them includes stairs and slabs. And another thing, I'm not finished yet. You can use the Vard block, this one, you craft it like this. So once you have those, you can place them this way in your craft grid and you can get Vard rack block. Vard rack block looks like this. Oops, no, that's not it. Looks like this. So from farming your obsidian ward, you can farm it in complete dark, underground, doesn't matter what light you have, it doesn't really need light. What it needs is plowed obsidian. We need to get obsidian next to the water, plow it, and then you can put your ward seeds on top of it. Ward seeds you get from red mushrooms. You find forest with red mushrooms, you'll get the seeds out of them. Okay, so farming obsidian wards will give you obsidian uh, uh, ward bricks and you can craft all kind of blocks. These blocks are meant just for the decoration and for your buildings. It contains slabs and stairs. Let's have a look. All the slabs, all the stairs are here. So enjoy. Build some nice stuff with this. Get some obsidian, get your farms going on and have fun. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.